One of the best things about Hogwarts Legacy is the gameplay, graphics, and its immersive story. But do not get lost on just playing the game. And in this video, I'm going to give you some action and strategic tips and tricks I wish I knew before playing Hogwarts Legacy. So the first tip we're gonna go over is getting money fast. There are multiple ways to get your economy up in Hogwarts Legacy. A quick way to do so is by unlocking each one of these iBox chests in game. Each of these chests contains 500 coins. I believe there are around half a dozen in Hogsmeade alone, and the only way to open these boxes is by being in stealth. Next, make sure to complete main quest until you unlock the beast bag and continue completing room of requirement quests to enlarge your beast bag in order to rescue more beasts around the map. You can take these beasts to the vendor in Hogsmeade and sell them for 120 coins each. That is a very quick way to earn money as well in game. Next, we're gonna talk about the Merlin Trials. Early on in the game, you will discover Merlin Trials and will need Mallow Sweet Leaves to start a Merlin Trial. Merlin Trials can be found on the map by this icon. And here is why it is so important. Not only does it give you 80 XP for each Merlin trial you complete, but if you go to your challenges in your book, there is a Merlin trial challenge. The more you progress on the challenge, the larger your gear inventory bag is to carry more loot and the clothing items that you find during the game. Early on, you will loot and find yourself at max capacity, but by increasing your gear capacity, you will have more clothing to sell at a vendor to earn money fast in game. Next, let's go ahead and talk about the talent points. Now there are various ways to earn XP in game. However, the game's maxed at 40 levels, which means you will only get 40 talent points to unlock various talents for your character. Currently in the talent points page, there are 48 talents that you can possibly unlock. I would wait to start unlocking talent points at either level 16 or 22. This being because you can waste points on unlocking those available when you reach level 5 by trying to unlock all the talent points you can, when in reality, you need to strategically select the points for your character. So, do be very selective on the points you use in this game for your character's talents early on. Next, let's go ahead and talk about the flying and movement mechanics in Hogwarts Legacy. Once you unlock the ability to buy your own broom, the game does get much more fun. So my suggestion is unlocking the broom challenges by LB Weeks, which will give you broom upgrades, making your travel time and control so much better while on your broom. This will require you to win time trials across the map, but it is well worth it. Being on your broom does allow you to unlock chests and boxes, and you can unlock fast travel locations or the flu flames without having to dismount by just flying by a flu flame on the map. Another reason to upgrade your broom is the game mechanics and movements for flying are very impressive. And as we know, there is no Quidditch right now, but I do have a feeling it will come soon with a future update. Now storylines based on your house. So finally, the last tip I will give you that I wish I knew before I started playing the game was that depending on the house you choose, there are different storylines and quests that you have available to you. For example, if you are in Gryffindor, you can play and meet nearly Headless Nick. And for Hufflepuff, there is a storyline that allows you to see the Dementors at Azkaban. So do be mindful of this or know that you do have this option if you want to start a new game in a different house to experience new content that you would not have seen otherwise. Now, if you made it this far into the video, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. It does help my channel out and it will allow you to get more awesome tips and tricks just like this in this video. I also play other games such as first person shooters and scary games and I do play them live from time to time on stream. So if you want to see these, feel free to subscribe. And if you're still here and you're just trying out Hogwarts for the first time, I recommend this video here that will show you your best tips guide for beginners that are just starting out in this game. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.